Jet City Harley dealer because they were actually having a, uh, a free lunch and then they had a free dinner as well so we were gonna get there and, and do either the free lunch or the free dinner or we thought about going and <laughs> doing the free lunch and then leaving for a while and coming back uh, that didn't work out. yeah so we get to the dealership and uh, we parked the bikes and don't walk. forget that we were at that dealership the day before oh yeah we were buying a jacket that's right so that's what started this all we actually went there the day before and I got my jacket and so she knew this purple bike was already there. No, I didn't. She had already started it up. Um, I no, didn't. I mean the second day. Yes. So we went with the jacket. She didn't know the purple bike was there. She started it up, fell in love with it pretty much, got the price. The price was reasonable. We told them we'd be back the next day. So we come back this day after we rent the Harleys. We come back, we drive up on the Harleys. Earlier that morning, before we got the Harleys, while we were at lunch, while we were at lunch, Chris gets a text from the sales manager dropping the price, which we already thought was a, good price. a fair price, down two thousand dollars more. And so Chris was pretty much ready to buy it, put it in her pocket almost at that time. <laughs> and I was, I mean, it is a really customized bike. So we show up, she goes over and sits on it, wanted to test drive it, but still the timing that we had talked about and planned was to uh, purchase our motorhome toy hauler in March of next year. And um, then shortly after that, probably 10 minutes or so after that, buy motorcycles. 10 minutes after. Because one of us is really patient about waiting for things. Yeah. And the other one is not. That's not true, it's the opposite. And so um, I told her, you know, she's got, we, the way we do our finances is, you know, we both do things to contribute to our home. We put all that money in the bank, it goes to various things, and then we set aside spending money for both of us, and we've got two separate spending money accounts. All of our joint money goes in one account, and all of our joint bills paid out of that. And then we have our spending money accounts that we basically just both get an allowance, and um, I wish we would have thought of that years ago because honestly, that great. that really helps. You just don't care. Each person's kind of managing their own spending money, and there's no pressure on why'd you buy this, why'd you buy that, uh, type of thing. So she's got an allotment. She knows what her budget is each month. And I told her, I said, you know, it's up to you. But you've got a storage problem. We can't carry these things around until we get an RV. Well, we're in Washington, and just a few hours away is where Chris's dad, Charlie, lives, and he's got a huge garage. In fact, we'll be out there um, later, so I'm sure you'll see some footage of the uh, of the cars and garage out there. We're going to the car show next week. We went last year as well. You can scroll back in the videos and see the Long Beach Rod Run from uh, last year. And so she's decided that um, she's just going to, if she does purchase it, she can put it there and store it there until we come back out here. Uh, after we get the RV toy hauler. So four hours later. I am the proud owner of. Yeah, she's the proud owner of the uh, this purple 883, 883 which is the exact model she wanted. Um, but this one is highly customized. It's got performance exhaust on it, which is, I wouldn't say it's like beastly loud, but it's definitely quite a bit louder and beefier than uh, the stock exhaust. It's got um, headlight shocks um, that have been upgraded, performance stuff. I'm not sure what it's got, but it's got a lot of custom parts on it. So it's it's really a cool bike, and I think she's gonna it's be really happy with it. Beautiful metallic purple. And you really mainly sold when you took it for the test drive, right? Yeah, yes. As soon as I took off, it, I just felt so comfortable on it. Um, especially versus the one that we were renting. Um, it just felt like it just fit like a, a glove. I, was, I wasn't nervous at all um, when I was on it. So, so the, the uh, experience at the Harley-Davidson, the Jet, uh, Jet City Harley-Davidson, 
they honestly they were a little car salesish more so than the dealership in Festus where they kind of uh, they're a little bit more aggressive about coming out and that, yeah. that was a little that was a little um, you know frustrating not, at first not but intimidating but you, that's just kind of irritating to me yeah but in the end I couldn't we couldn't have asked for a better salesman right. as far as you know Jacob was very patient he knew that I was nervous um, you know asked what would make me feel better you told him that you know yeah we sat at the, he came sat down at the table he was trying to get you to ride it he wanted you to ride the used one and a new one yeah. he brought the the riding vest sat down at the table and he talked he, t he just sat and talked he to us talked, for about yeah. 45 minutes not even about the bike just talked and I was actually wondering you know I kind of wanted to get back on our Harleys and ride um, because it was a it was our first rental day uh, but I wanted her to get to ride the bike and also if it was really the one that she wanted I wanted her to be able to get it uh, because it was a good price and it was a really cool bike um, so I just asked her I said you know are you gonna take it for a ride and, and I could tell that she was nervous about it and he's like what's the issue and I said yeah, I think I told him that you know I think she's probably uh, a little nervous about getting on it in front of everybody and she said she confirmed that that was the case and he perfectly just he basically said I'll take him around the corner for you no problem he just jumped up and did yeah, it he's like, and that's that, not the first time that pretty much um, solved it for her she rode that and then she switched over and rode the the brand new same model um, and she just loved the custom one the purple one much better it's the first bike get good so there's no fop that is the run button or there's no key that is the run button and then it's the start back in and and uh, did the deal and uh, Jake actually was getting off work so he left but he came back with his little dog and uh, walked Chris through it so you don't weigh very much I imagine that's totally fine for you if you hadn't been waiting more you would have been like you so get rich So it was a great experience. Just be aware, they're, you know, they they try hard to make sales. So they're going to have salespeople come out and talk to you, and and uh, you know, ask you to take test drives and stuff like that. Uh, but um, other than that, I think the experience was, you know, it was a high nine or ten mm -hmm. experience once you get over that aspect. And and uh, uh, so then after that, we didn't have too much time to ride. We had about an hour left to ride in the day. But we had them overnight, so we rode back to the campground. No, we took a little drive. Right? Yeah, we took a little ride, and then we then we drove back to the campground. Um, and then the next morning, we got up and we took what about a two and a half hour ride up through Seattle, which was fun. Uh, and the Space Needle down to went up to the Gum Wall. Oh yeah, the Gum Wall. Yep. And then we took them back, and so we returned them and. Uh, you know the return was pretty easy he was fairly busy right at noon uh, with some other returns so we did have to wait a little while um, at Eagle Rider but they basically just go check out the bike and then one signature and, and you're on your way so uh, we're looking forward to more Eagle Rider rentals even if we um, buy <laughs> the, she's already bought so now now that she's already bought now I'm like okay fine if you're not gonna wait I'm gonna go get a bike but we need something so to carry around with so I'm trying to restructure our plan to where we can go ahead and purchase a uh, we don't need to. I know we don't need we to could still just wait. we'll 
I'll just wait. I don't want to wait. 